Hello, good evening. Hello, teacher. Good evening. Hello, good evening. How are you? I'm fine. Thank you. Nice. Welcome to the class. We're going to wait a few minutes so the other classmates come into the class. Okay, everybody, welcome to the class. And um, we're going to start right away. Bienvenidos a la clase de inglés de este día. Ya esta es la tercera semana de este módulo. Um, la pregunta siempre es, ¿cómo vamos con la plataforma? ¿Será que llevamos por la sección 4? Estarían, tendríamos que estar iniciando la sección 4 de la plataforma. No sé cómo vamos, compañeros, con eso. Hi. Hello. And in section five. Ah, very good. Five is very good. Casi termina. Mm -hmm. Nice. Eh, los demás van al menos terminando la tres. No sé cómo vamos. Eh, ya la otra semana, el otro jueves, se cierra la plataforma. Entonces, después del jueves, ya no se puede acceder y ya no se pueden hacer los ejercicios. Entonces, tenemos dos semanas para terminar todos los ejercicios. Eh, no sé cómo vamos, si hay preguntas, dudas, algún comentario. Profe, yo ya terminé las cinco secciones. Good, good. Eh, ¿Le falta el examen final todavía? T. 
teacher, yo voy terminando la sección 3. Ok, perfecto. Por ahí vamos encaminados, la 3. Al terminar este jueves tendríamos que estar terminando la 4 al menos. Pero si ya van encaminados, si ya van por las 5, pues perfecto, ¿verdad? no hay ningún problema. Igual recuerden que eh, cualquier cosa, pues está el chat, me pueden escribir directamente y sino también el grupo. Hay varios compañeros que le han estado ayudando también a otros compañeros, lo cual es perfecto. Así practicamos. ¿verdad? Ok, so we are going to start the class. Um, today we are going to continue with the simple present tense, but we are going to check about WH questions. Um, ¿Cuándo utilizamos las WH questions? ¿Se recuerdan? When, when do we use the WH questions? Son informativas. That is correct. Information, right? So estas no se, no se contestan sí o no. Simplemente es, le preguntan algo a alguien y dependiendo de la pregunta, esa es la respuesta. So, for example, where? When do we use where? Donde? Very good. For places, right? So the answer is going to be always places. Where? In my house. Um, in the, the hospital or um, in the neighborhood, any place. What? Um, when do we use what? Okay. Okay. Para preguntas. ¿Qué tipo de preguntas? ¿Qué? Para preguntas y una respuesta concreta. Así es, general, ¿verdad? What, por ejemplo, si yo le digo, what's your favorite color? Me puede decir tantas combinaciones de colores. So, it's, it's very open, very general question. That is what. Uh, why, when do we use why? For a reason. For reasons, very good. So, why do you like pizza? Because it's delicious. Why um, do you go to, to school? To learn, to practice things. Good. Whom? When do we use whom? Cuando preguntamos por alguien más, como en tercera persona. Eh, no es necesariamente tercera persona. Se puede utilizar para todas las personas. Ahora, whom viene siendo como el objeto de la opción. ¿Para quién? Por ejemplo, en esta pregunta que vemos, whom does she play with? ¿Con quién? ¿Con quién juega ella? Okay. So, uh, la diferencia de who y whom es esa. Who es el, el sujeto y whom es el objeto de la acción. Okay. When. Asking about time. Time for activity. That is correct. So time, it can be in the future, it can be in the past, it can be in the present. Right now we're checking about simple present tense. So it's going to be with routines, habits, and things like that. Okay. The other one is how. When do we use how? About procedure or method. Very good. Procedure or method. How do you cook uh, meat? Uh, and then you start describing, right? Well, first you have to put some sauce and some uh, salt, and then you, and that is one, one, one. So it's going to be that. The next one is who? Uh, who is about people, right? About the subject that realizes, that does the action. And the last one is which? Do you know what is which? Or when do we use which? Yes, um, an option or choice. Very good. Options or choices that are definite, right? So which color do you prefer? That means that we have some options of colors. It's not any color. So it's that specific or those specific colors. Good, good. The other one that is not here, and probably something that we need to just remember is uh, this one. I don't know if you are able to see there. Who's? Do you know what is who's? No, teacher. Okay, who's is um, when we're asking about possession. For example, if I say, whose pencil is this? 
de quién es este la novia. It's a possession. Whose? Okay. Perfect. Do you have any questions about WH questions by now? Yes, teacher. Um, what is the meaning whom I never seen the word? Eh, de quién para quién. Para uh -huh. quién se hace una acción. Okay. En este caso es con quién porque lleva el with al final. Pero oh. se puede decir um, whom uh, you, what can I tell you? Whom this meat is. Okay. Para quién es esta carne. Something like that. Thank you, teacher. It's a pleasure. Okay, so let's practice. Simple present tense with WH questions. Okay, everybody, number one, who is going to be the question? How, how old are you? Oh. How old are you? How old are you? Very good. Remember that with age, we are going to use always the verb be. Many people sometimes use the verb have because in Spanish it's like that, but in English it's the verb to be. Okay, that is very important. Number two, how is it going to be? What is your name? What is your name? What's your name? Very easy. Number three. What day is today? What day is today? What day is today? So it's going to be like Monday, right? The answer. The next one, number four. Where are you Where from? Where are you from? Where are you from? Very good. The next one, who's going to be? What are your what hobbies? Are your hobbies? <laughs> Very good. What are your hobbies? Just remember also that when we use plurals, nouns that are plurals, also the verb is going to be in plural. Let's continue with number six. Where is what time? What time is it? What time is it? Very common that one, right? What time is it? And number seven. When is your when mom's is your birthday? birthday? Mom. When is your mom's mom birthday? Birthday. Yeah, remember that in this uh, case, since we use moms with a contraction, that means that this is that. A possession. So it's going to be when is your mom's birthday? Number eight. Who is your, who is your, who is your best friend? friend? Who is your best friend? Very good. Number nine. What do you what like? Do you what like? subject do you like? Very good. What subjects do you like? What is subjects in this question? Materias. Very good. That is it. What subjects do you like? So the answer is like math or English or science, any kind of subjects. And the other one is number 10. Who enjoys Ooh. English? Very good. Who enjoys English? In this one, we are not going to use do or does. We don't use an auxiliary because we don't know who is the person i mean do is for all the all the people that is except the third person right and uh, does is for his shit but here we don't know we don't know the answer so that's why we never use do or does and the verb is going to be in third person who enjoys english nice do you have any question with this little practice No. 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 Good. So let's continue practicing. Okay, what we're going to do here is we're going to try to match. We have questions on the left and the answers on the right. So, for example, for number one, what time is it? What is the answer? It's five. It is five to three. Very good, it's this one. It is five to three, nice. Number two, where is she? She's at a school. She's at a school. Perfect, she is at school, nice. Number three, how many cats do you have? I have, I have ten, ten cats. cats. 
Good. I have 10 cats. Number four. How old are you? I am 35 years old. I am 35 years old. Very good. I am 35 years old. Uh, the next one is number five. Who is him? He is my, he is my father. father. He is my father. Very good. Number six. How much does this cost? $35. Very good. $35. Number seven. Ah, here is a question with that one. Can you see? Whose pencil is this? It is Martin's pencil. Perfect. It is Martin's pencil. Okay. Number eight. Which drink do you want? I want water. I want water. I want water. Very good. Number nine. When is the party? Next Saturday. Next Saturday. It is next Saturday. Let's go to party. And number ten. Why are you sad? Because, because I, I hurt my, my head. Very good. Because I hurt my head. Remember that every time that we ask we why, the answer is going to be because, right? And uh, do you remember what is hurt? Very good. That is it. Let me see. Let's continue a little practice here. Uh, okay, let's see. Okay. So we're going to unscramble and create the questions. Number one, how is it going to be? Where do Where you, go, you to go, go to a school? Where do you go to school? Remember that if we use the verb to be in simple present tense, if we use the verb to be, we are not going to use other verb. So it's either the verb to be or other verb. If it's other verb, we're going to use auxiliars. Okay, so in this case is, where do you go to school? Number two. What do you do? What do you do? So remember that this is about occupation. So what can be an answer for that one? What do you do? I'm a lawyer. I'm a lawyer. Very good. Any profession. Okay, nice. Number three. Where does John come from? Where is that John come from? Perfect. That is going to be does because we're talking about John. That is he. So this is going to be where does John come from? Very good. Number four. Um, how long does he take from London to Very good, perfect. How long does it take from London to Paris? That is another kind of question. How long? That is about time, a period of time. Okay, the number five, how is it going to be? Very good. How often does she go to the cinema? Nice. Number six. How many children do you have? How many children do you have? How many children do you have? Very good. How many children do you have? Perfect. Number seven. When do you get up? When do you get up? So it can be at six, at nine, whatever, right? Number eight. Oh, how often do you study English? Mm, that is a very good question. How often do you study English? <laughs> okay. Number nine. What time does the film start? The film start. The film start. What time does the film start? Very nice. Number ten. Where do you play tennis? Where do you play tennis? Nice. Let's continue on the other side. Okay, number eleven. What does what? sport Lucy like? Sport does. What sport does Lucy like? What sports does Lucy like? That is the correct form. What sports 
does Lucy like? Number 12. How do they get to work? How do they get to work? That is correct. How do they get to work? What it might be a good answer for this one? What do you think? I'm sorry? So the question is, how do they get work? What can be an answer for that? Um, they get by bus. By bus. That is a very good answer. By uh, bus. By. by car. They walk. They take a train. So, very good. Uh, the number 13, what is going to be? How often, how often, how often do, do I come, I come here? Very good. How often do I come here? Nice. Number 14. Where does she live? Where does she live? Where does she live? Where does, where, where does she live? Where does she live? That is it. Okay. Number 15. What do Why do you eat, eat so much chocolate? Why do you eat so much chocolate? Very good. Number 16. What does, what does, what does this machine do? No. What? What does this machine do? Yeah, that is correct. What does this machine do? Good. Number 17. Who does, Who does, does she meet on Saturday? Who does she meet on Saturday? Who does she meet on Saturdays? Number 18. How many brothers do she have? How many brothers does she have? Nice. Number 19. How much does she cost? Very good. How much does this cost? And number 20. Where do, Where do you, you eat lunch? lunch? Where do you eat lunch? Very, very good. Do you have any questions about this? No. No questions. Okay, we're going to practice ourselves asking WH questions, okay? Now, uh, think about two questions, any questions. And we are going to ask questions to a classmate. And the person that answers is going to ask questions to another classmate. Do you get the idea that of the exercise? Do you understand the exercise? Le vamos a preguntar, piensen en unas dos, tres preguntas en su mente, no hay que escribirlas. Y le vamos a hacer una pregunta a alguien, a un classmate, cualquier pregunta. Y luego esta persona va a contestar y esa persona le va a hacer otra pregunta a otro classmate. ¿Ok? ¿Questions about the exercise? No. Ok, I'm going to be first. Ok, uh, let's see. Um, Natalie. Hello. Hello. How are you today? Thank you. I'm very well, thank you for asking. Um, Natalie, where do you live? I live in Santa Ana. Really? Me too. That's interesting. Really? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Okay. Where in Santa Ana do you live? Uh, near to Santa Julia. Ah, okay. Uh, it, it, that is in Ibu, right? Yes. Yeah, we're very far away. I live in, do you know where is Villarreal? Yeah. Okay, I live there. It's so so we're <laughs> very far away. That is true. <laughs> At least we know where we live each other. Nice. Yes. So Natalie... Okay. Uh, uh, ask a question to a classmate, please. I have to choose one. Yes, please. You choose somebody. Um, all right. Maribel Pineda. Okay, saco boleto, Maribel. <laughs> okay. Okay. What kind of music do you like? Excuse me? What kind of music do you like? I music in 
eh, romantic. Romantic. Perfect. And the thing. the other one. Uh, what is your favorite color? My favorite color is um, blue. Okay. Perfect. Thank you, Natalie. Now, okay. Maribel, you are going to ask another classmate. Um, Edith Ramirez. Good. Okay. Okay. Um, where do you live? I live in Mexicanos. Um, what 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 um, do you children? Maybe that is how many children do you have? Ah, many. Uh, no, I don't have children. Very good. Very good. Thank you, Maribel. Okay. Now Edith is going to ask. Okay. Um, George. Okay. Hi, George. Well. Which one? Well, yeah, there are two uh, George. Sorry, sorry, George Figueroa. Okay. <laughs> sorry, uh, George, uh, where do you live? I live in San Salvador. Okay, where do you work? I work in Fundación Salvadoreña de Apoyo Integral. Okay. Perfect, thank you. Now, George, you're going to ask a question. Oh, two questions. Mm, let me see. Yeah. Karen Melende. Okay. Karen. Okay. What is your father and mother's names? My my father called Luis and my mom Carmen. When is your birthday? <laughs> I am July 6th. July 6th. Okay, perfect. Thank you, George. Karen, it's your turn to ask questions. Okay. And, uh, Aileen Resinos. Okay. Aileen. Yes. How old are you? I am 29 years old. And my question is for... Ah, but it's missing one question. Creo que le faltaba una a Karen. Ah, sorry. How long does it take to get a, get home from work? Good question. Uh, <laughs> I don't have a work right now. <laughs> Good answer as well. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Eileen, you can ask two questions. Okay. My question is for Fabiola Alvarado. Okay, Fabiola. Fabiola? Me, me, aquí. Okay. <laughs> okay. Um, Fabiola, what time is it? <laughs> um, it is, it is eight, 25 minutes. Very PM. good. <laughs> okay. And what do you prefer, cat or dog? Um, I prefer dog. Very good questions. I like them. Thank you, Eileen. Fabiola, you are going to ask. Um, I miss. <laughs> uh, 
Ohio. Humberto. Humberto. Okay. Okay. Um, what do you prefer to drink coffee? Mm, yes, I prefer drink coffee. Okay. Um, where do you work? I work at in Confeccionar del Valle. Okay. Um, Thank you, Fabiola. Now, Humberto, you're going to ask. Um, Catecines, just to... No, no. Oh, she wants. Okay. Catecines. She really wants. Hello. Hello, Katy. Okay, my question for you. Uh, what, why, why do you learn English? Where do you? Why? No. Why? I. Why? English. Why do you learn English? Mm. I don't understand. What Where? do you? Why? Why do you learn English? I learn. I I understand. Live. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Uh, I learn English because I need to um, learn languages uh, for a new job, for practicing my job, in, for travel, in, in new new people okay. in conversation. <laughs> Very good. Okay. Uh, the second, um, what your, what's your second name? My second name is, I don't remember teacher. Second name is apellido or yes? No, no, last name is apellido. Ah, sorry. Uh, my second name is Cristina. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. Perfect. Thank you, Humberto. Katy, now you're gonna ask. Uh, Juan Panameño. Good. You really, Juan Panameño? Are you really? Yes, you're very good. Okay. Uh, how old are you? Twenty-nine years old. Okay. Uh, where is your favorite music? Uh, favorite music is a uh, reggae. Reggaeton. <laughs> reggae. Ah, sorry. <laughs> yeah, <Me ofendió. laughs> <laughs> <El sangungue hoy. laughs> yeah, that is kind of different. Okay, thank you, Kathy. Now, Juan, you're going to ask. Herman uh, Teresón, no sé si está por ahí. Yes, he's here. Well, I don't know yet. But at least I see his. I hear. Him. Are you ready? Okay. When do you get up? When do you get up? When? Mm -hmm. Time. Uh, I, get, I, get, I get up at five. At five. Okay, at five. Good. Okay. And the other question, uh, Juan? How many minutes world to work? Mm -hmm. um, 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 I, 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 16. 60 minutes, okay. 60 minutes, yes. Okay, thank you, Juan. Okay. Now, Herman is going to ask questions. Okay, uh, my, my partner, Jose Lino. Okay, Jose Lino. Uh, uh, do you have sister or brother? Okay. 
Excuse me, repeat the question, please. Do you, do you have a sister or brother? Oh, yes, I have uh, one sister only. Good. Uh, what is your, your name? Is brother, sister? Okay. Her name is Elizabeth. Perfect. Okay. Thank you, Herman. Now, Joselino is going to ask. Okay. Mm. Uh, Emily Gonzalez. Emily, good. Hello, Emily. Jose. Um, who is your favorite singer? Singer is Selena. Selena. Ah, Selena, okay. And what do you do? I I am watching a video. Just remember that what do you do is about occupation. I do ¿Cómo tendría que decir en ese caso, digamos? ¿Qué es lo que hace? Es a teacher, es a nurse, es a doctor, es a Ah, o sea, es ocupación no es ah, creí que era acción que yo estaba haciendo en este momento. No, actually that is a different tense. In simple present tense when we say what do you do is about occupation. Um, uh, at university. Uh, you're a student. Yes. Perfect, oh. thank you. Thank you, Jose. Now, Emily, uh, you're going to ask questions. Uh, Katie Orantes. Okay. Hi, Katie. Hello, Katie. I guess she's not here. Another person, please. Gabriela Argueta. Good. Hi, Gabriela. Hello. Where do your parents live? Um, I live with three persons. Um, how many brothers and sisters do you have? I have one sister. Perfect. Thank you, Emily. Gabriela, now you are going to ask. Mm. Susie? Okay, Susie. Hello, Susie. I guess she's not here. Yeah. Maybe other person. Yeah. Kevin Villalta. Good. I'm here. Hello, and when is your birthday? What is the question? When is your birthday? My birthday is on June 16th. Okay. And how often do you brush your teeth? Uh, every day at night and at lunch. Okay, perfect. Thank you, Gabriela. Now, Kevin, you are going to ask questions. Kayla Lopez. Okay. Hi. Here's my question. What do you do when you are at a boring party? Good question. I don't understand. What do you do when you are at a boring party? Did 
Do you get the question, Kayla? So the question is, what do you do when you are at a boring party? Hello. Yeah. Maybe she has some problems with the connection, I guess. Is it another person? Yeah, other people. Okay. Um, Humberto Jaco, no? He did it already. Oh. Uh, uh, Lilian Granillo. Very good. Okay. Are you there? Lilian, I can't remember your name. Lilian, yeah, she's okay. there. Uh, what kind of movies do you like? I like a movie. Uh, what is it? Um, comedy? Comedy. Comedies. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, um, what's your favorite movie about comedies? Oh, I like um, uh -huh. I don't remember number. Okay. So you have a lot of good moves, I guess. Thank you. Thank you, Kevin. Okay, Lilian, you are going to ask questions. Okay, uh, Vilma Leiva. Okay, Vilma. Okay. Hola. Vilma, are you here? La Vilma. Yeah, I guess she has some problems with the microphone as well. So let's choose another person. Okay. Um, hemos, um, Falta Jorge Hernández. Y Orantes. Ah, okay. Ah. Okay. Katie. No sé si ya regresó de donde andaba. I guess Jorge Hernandez. Not. Okay, Jorge Hernandez. Hello, Jorge. Hola, hola. Hi. Hola. Okay. Um, what place do you visit on vacation? What place? Uh, the beach. It's like very well, very much. Okay. Um, what, uh, what do you like? About what? Okay. Music, food. Where do you live? Uh, where do you uh, live? Like, I live. live. Mm -hmm. yeah, I live in Lourdes. Okay. Okay. Perfect. Thank you, Lilian. Jorge, okay. you are going to ask questions. Okay. Mm. It's missing. Let me think. Mm -hmm. Carla Salama is missing. Carla? I guess she's the only one. Are you there? Ah, and Erling. Hello? Carla, are you there? Um, Carla. Okay. Hi. I ask you, what do you like English? Excuse me? Could you repeat that? Yes. Why do you like English? Ah, oh, okay. I like learning English because in our country it's very, very important to learn another language. And I would like to travel around the world. Okay. 
And what kind of movies do you prefer? I like watching movies. Horror? Horror? Horror movies. Good. Yes. Thank you, Jorge. Now, okay. Carla. Okay. I guess the only one that is missing is Erling Laines. Yes. Okay. Carla, your questions. Maybe you have some problems. I guess she has some problems. Okay. Um, who wants to ask questions to Erling? Anybody? A volunteer? So we can finish. Uh huh. Yo. Okay. Go ahead, please. What kind of music do you like? I like the pop music and reggae music. Reggaeton. Okay. You like to dance? <laughs> what is your favorite artist of pop music? Favorite artist is the practice yoga and pilates. And what do you say me? The other question? <laughs> Uh, what is your favorite pop artist? Ah, the Laura Pausini. I like the singer, okay. Laura. Okay. Thank you, Jorge. Now, Erling, you are going to ask questions to me. How many brothers or sisters do you have? I have one sister and one brother. you practice any sport? I sometimes swim. I uh, practice basketball. Uh, sometimes soccer, but that is not that often. Probably that is the ones that I practice. Okay, thanks. Okay, everybody. Um, very good job. Um, just remember that it's very important the way that we ask questions so the other person understand what we're saying and also to answer according to that and also, uh, if you don't understand, you can always say, uh, could you please repeat? Could you please tell me the question in a different way? Or uh, things like that. But the verbs and the auxiliary, they were used in a very good way. So let's go to continue. We're going to do a reading practice. So we are going to answer these questions. So for example, where does Alfred live? What's his sister's name? What time does she wake up or he wake up? Does he have breakfast at home? What time does he leave home? Where does he have lunch? Where does he return home? Uh, does he make homework at school or at home? Is he a helpful toy? What about you? What's your daily routine like? Well, that one is, is not for us. And then it says, match the antonym. Do you know what is an antonym? No. An antonym is like the opposite. So uh, we have several modern, older, starts, lead, begin, together, helpful, happy. And then we have on the other side, enters, alone, end, old fashioned, unhappy, younger, finishes, and unhelpful. That is the part two and the part one is true or false. Alfred is an American boy. So is that true or false? He lives in a modern flat. He is 11 years old. He has got two brothers. Alfred wakes up at 8 o'clock. He walks to school. His classes begin at half past 8. And uh, Alfred and his family have dinner at half past 7. So, of course, as usual, we are going to repeat, okay? Alfred is an American boy. Alfred, Alfred is, is an American, American boy. boy. He lives in Los Angeles. He, he lives, lives in Los Angeles. In Los Angeles. California. 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 
He lives with his family in a modern house. He, he lives, lives with, with, with his family, family in a modern, in a modern house. house. He is 11 years old and he has got an older brother. He is 11 years old and he has got an older brother. David and a younger sister, Emma. David and a younger sister, Emma. He starts his day at about half past seven. He starts his day at about half past seven. He gets up. He gets, he gets up. He gets up. He gets up. Goes to the bathroom. Goes to the bathroom. Goes to the bathroom. Goes bathroom. To the bathroom. Takes a shower. Takes a shower. a shower. Brushes his teeth and get dressed. Brushes his teeth, teeth and get dressed. Teeth and get dressed. Then he has breakfast and at a quarter to eight. Then he has then breakfast he has and at a quarter to eight. At he leaves home and catches the bus to school. He leaves home and catches the bus to school. Classes begin at a half past eight. Classes begin at a half past eight. He usually has lunch at the school canteen. He usually has lunch at the school canteen. At half past twelve. At half past twelve. After school, at a quarter past five, he goes home. After school, at a quarter past five, he goes home. There, he does his school homework, and when he finishes it, he helps his mom laying the table. There, he does there, his school he homework the, and when he, he finishes finish it, he, he has his the mom helps him lunch in the table. The table. Oh. At half past seven, the family dines together. At, At half past seven, 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 the family, the family dines, dines together. together. Alfred is a very helpful boy. Alfred, Alfred is a very, very helpful, helpful boy. 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 So he helps his mother cleaning up everything after dinner. He usually watches TV for a while after dinner. And uh well uh, and at about ten o'clock the mother brushes his teeth again. And about the mother the teeth. Puts on his Spiderman pajamas and goes to bed. Puts on his Spiderman pajamas and goes to bed. His parents always kiss him good night before he gets asleep. His parents always kiss him good night before he gets asleep. Alfred is a very happy boy. Alfred, Alfred is, is a very, very happy, happy, boy. Very happy, happy boy. boy. Okay, so now we're going to uh, do the exercise one. Alfred is an American boy. True. 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 That is true. Good. He lives in a modern flat. False. 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 Because he lives False. in a modern house, right? Good. Yes. Number three, uh, he is 11 years old. Mm. We can check here. Uh -huh. Yeah. Yeah. True. Good. He's eleven years old. Okay. Number it's four. True. He has got two brothers. True. 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 Okay. Uh, but here it says that look at this. He has an older brother, David, and a younger sister, Emma. Yeah. So okay. that is going to be false okay. only one brother Bro yeah one brother because brothers are just male uh do you okay. know how to say brothers and, si and sisters together yes how do you say that brothers male and siblings siblings mm. that's the ah. word siblings so if i say uh, if i ask you do you have siblings siblings is brothers or sister male or female it doesn't matter 
Okay. 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 Good. So the other one is um, Alfred wakes up at eight o'clock. False. 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 Uh, Alfred, let, let me see. He walks to school. False. 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 Because he takes the bus. His classes begin at half past eight. True. True. Okay. And the other one yes, says, true. Alfred and his family have dinner at half past seven. True. True. Very good. Let's make this one now. Uh, where does Alfred live? Mother In house. Mother house. Mother house. Very good. California. <laughs> okay. All the answers are good. You know, in California, in Los Angeles, in a modern house. That's good. What's his sister's name? Emma. Emma. Good. Emma. What time does he wake up? <clears throat> in seven. Seven o'clock. Seven and eight. Seven. Past half seven. past seven. Yeah, so that's going to be 7 30. Okay, uh, does he have breakfast at home? Mm. Yes. Mm. Yes. Okay, very good. Has breakfast. The other one says, uh, what time does he leave home? Quarter mm. to eight. Quarter to eight. Very good. Quarter to eight. Uh, six. Uh, where does he have lunch? Canteen. A school canteen. Okay. That is like a cafeteria, something like that. It's a place where you can go in and have, sit down and have, uh, let's say, food. Uh, okay. The other one, it says, um, when does he return home? Past five. Yeah, a quarter past five. Past five. Okay, so it's going to be 5.15, right? Uh, does he make homework at school or at home? And home. At home. At, at home. Good. Uh, is he a helpful boy? Yes. Yes. Good. Yes. Number 10, we are not going to make it because it's about everybody, but... Number two says match the antonyms. So what is the opposite of modern? Elders. Younger. Father. Old fashioned. Old fashioned, that's the one. Old fashioned. So modern and old fashioned are opposite. Good. Okay. Uh, what is the opposite or the antonym of older? Young. Younger. Younger. Younger, good. And the Younger. opposite of starts and finishes. 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 Okay. <laughs> the opposite of leaves. Enters. Enters. Good. The opposite of begin. And, and. and good. The opposite of together. Alone. 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 Good. The opposite of helpful. Unhelpful. 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 Good. And the opposite of happy? Unhappy. 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 Very good. So this is sometimes very useful to know the antonyms, synonyms of some mm -hmm. of the verbs. So it was a very good exercise. Okay. Uh, since we don't have time because it's almost time for us to finish, tomorrow we're going to start the class by reading. We are going to check vocabulary tomorrow and we are going to read. And of course, then we're going to continue with the class, okay? So before okay. we finish, I was telling at the beginning of the class that it's very important for us to move in the platform. So by this Thursday, this week, we need to be finishing uh, section four. So if you are still in section two, section three, we need to move on, okay? and finish section four. Next week, next Thursday, not this, but the next uh, is the final class and uh, is the last day for us to have access to the platform. So it's important for us to move on, okay?
Okay. Okay. Okay, teacher. Do you have any questions before we finish? No. No, no question. Okay, my friends, it was a pleasure to be with you and uh, see you this incoming, well, tomorrow, right? Tomorrow we're going to be reading and checking some other grammar and practicing. Of course, if you have questions, you can chat with me or on the group and we're going to be there for you. So have a wonderful day, uh, night, I'm sorry, and rest very well. Bye-bye now, see you tomorrow. Thank Good you. Good night, see you. Bye. 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 Bye.